Welcome to uh, Mystic's View. Sharon Raji Maynard here. And in this growing world of podcasting, there is an increasing variety of subjects, and I love that. When I joined the podcasting community a little over a year ago, I decided to do what I do in my life when I want to begin something. Just jump in. Let it grow organically. A little like the Nike branding of just do it. In our world, we are presented with many problems. Albert Einstein gave great advice that still holds true in this matter when he said, problems cannot be solved by the level of knowledge or awareness that created them. We have to get outside of our box of the way we think. It was curiosity that took me on a radical search for answers. And those answers came from the spiritual world, from those teachers that I call the ancient ones. Their knowledge is the foundation for this podcast and the way I see life. Come here as you are to see the situation through my eyes, realizing that diversity is a natural outcome here on the planet, and diversity inspires and expands our capabilities. There is great value in listening deeply to one another. I continue to use space in my art slash studio slash office as a podcasting booth, and I hope you enjoy these conversations we're having. If so, I would appreciate a rating, some stars, at any of the podcast platforms you use, because we're really in life, including this conversation, together. And if you want to hold hands with me more deeply, go on over to the Patreon platform, patreon.com forward slash a mystics view, and I'll meet you there. And now, to Today enjoy I'm this writing episode. in a very different space. I'm outside. The sky is blue, no clouds, a gentle breeze off the water, and I'm facing a large concrete circular pad, large, perfect for my six-year-old grandson to razor ride. Now, do you know about razor riding? Well, it's really a two-wheel scooter. My job is to keep a watchful eye on him and anyone who comes into our space. When my children were growing up, they had the freedom to wander parks, pastures, playgrounds, as long as they checked in at least once during the day, which they usually did because they were hungry. No responsible parent would do that in today's climate of predators. Times have changed. Many wonder, will we ever get back lives that are safe? When I began my conversations with those in the unseen in 1971, I had no idea that there was predatory energy hidden in our communities. In 1989, when I asked to be shown a method to identify and heal the core cause of what was increasingly cycles of pain, violence, and powerlessness, I had no idea of predatory energy. With the guidance and the teachings from spiritual worlds beyond Earth, today I see what is happening in our country, the USA, and the world with different eyes. I see Earth mission still waiting to be remembered and fulfilled upon. I see consciousness changing and old stories being challenged. The normalization of predatory behavior being recognized and challenged. I see ideas and creations from the deeper truth of the human soul nature of good emerging. And I sit in the heat of the sun under the clarity of the blue sky, my grandson playing safely. He is having educational experiences in emerging creations that hold their students in respect and delight. He is being taught to navigate his own inner world of expectations, sadness, and creativity. And I wonder, as many parents and grandparents and even young couples do, what will our world be like in five years, or 10, or 15? 
That is certainly something that many of us ponder. I know the point of power is now. Now. And the axis of power is me. Me. I go back to a very old quote that says, think globally and act locally. Also a variation of Einstein's. If you want to solve a problem, change your own consciousness. Say it is solved. It is solved. Our children live within earth. They live in safety, respect, stability, and wellness. That's a global view, a global claiming. Act locally. And I act on the steps I am given from my inner knowing, my intuition, my greater teacher, to get them there. This is a short episode. I just wanted to let you know that summer is calling me. Vacation, families, nature. And I will be back with the next series of A Mystic's View in September. And in the meantime, what can you do to take back your power, your excitement, your confidence? I'm going to share some ideas in September. Let's know that our world has changed to that which we want for our children. Here's a poem I'm leaving you with. It's called It Couldn't Be Done by Edgar Guest. Somebody said that it couldn't be done, but he with a chuckle replied that maybe it couldn't, but he would be one who wouldn't say so till he tried. So he buckled right in with a trace of a grin on his face. If he worried, he hid it. He started to sing as he tackled the thing that couldn't be done. And he did it. Somebody scoffed, oh, you'll never do that. At least no one has done it. But he took off his coat and he took off his hat. And the first thing you know, he'd begun it. With a lift of his chin and a bit of a grin without any doubting or quit it, he started to sing as he tackled the thing that couldn't be done. And he did it. There are thousands to tell you it cannot be done. There are thousands to prophesy failure. There are thousands to point out to you, one by one, the dangers that wait to assail you. But just buckle it in with a bit of a grin. Just take off your coat and go to it. Just start to sing as you tackle the thing that couldn't be done. And you'll do it. We will do it. We are up to something great, and there's no stopping us. Enjoy your summer. Watch for us in September. Please rate our podcast with some stars. Share with those who you think will enjoy it. And, of course, I'd love you in my Patreon community. That's at www.patreon.com forward slash a mystic's view. Blessings until September. Thanks for coming along and sharing this episode. These various stories may stretch your mind, challenge your dogma, awaken you to new possibilities, or resonate with your own experiences. I'd love to hear any of that. You can always find me on Facebook at A Mystic's View of course, and the same on YouTube, A Mystic's View. When you see the value of this podcast, please share with your friends. And I would love to have you give us a rating. Some stars would be wonderful. You can become a member of the Mystic's View community on Patreon, where you can support us at any level. And we're really a growing community with all the gifts and ideas that I'm sharing back into that group. So there you can find us at www.patreon.com forward slash a mystic's view. The pressures of this world are rising. And what does that mean? And how can you effectively respond? My intentions is that my stories and sharings through this podcast will give you more insight, encouragement, and help you discover 
your own magnificent connection to that self beyond sight. It's a strong place to build from. Until next time.